What's up Jones Bones? It is your girl Unitedly Random and I just wanted to sit and chat with you guys. It is currently, I want to say late April, April 23rd or so. Um, and I've been stressing out in life. I know it's pretty loud. I started opening up my windows in my apartment because it smelled kind of weird. It smelled kind of weird. I don't know if I should leave this in this video, but it's not kind of weird. Um, let's talk more about life and what's been happening right after this intro. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. And we are back. I'm wrapped inside of my, uh, what do you call it? The thing that you put on your bed that's not fitted my unfitted sheet. I'm wrapped in the unfitted sheet because I didn't feel like putting on clothes today. I have a bunch of uh, hair, leaving hair conditioner on my head right now. And I'm just living life. I have been so stressed lately. Let's change angles. I have, mm, that aren't, actually I feel like I've been pretty small lately. Like if we're talking about losing weight. I've been so stressed lately. Um, because a lot of things are changing. I've said it before, but my company wanted me to do more things with the company. I'm training, I'm, you know, doing this more education. And it's like, well, if I'm focusing on studying more, when will I have time to like work on weight loss or work on myself? And there's a part of me that just doesn't want to do all of this work. I think inherently, even though I want to change, I've gotten to the point where in the past I wanted to change, I wanted to change, and I I didn't have the energy to change um, and it wasn't like I didn't want change and even now I still want to grow but the desire the, the desperate desire to have growth has definitely subsided a little bit um, I still have bursts of energy but I've been feeling pretty low recently and I wonder if it's because I stopped taking my vitamins um, I know like this is this is like conscious Aaliyah talking to you right now um vitamins do make a difference and I know it and all of you guys should know it if I ever did a sponsorship on my channel I probably would sponsor vitamins because they are so necessary for our bodies we're humans having an earthly experience we don't have the balanced diets that we probably should or that are optimized for our health. Vitamins can help us reach that point. I'm not selling vitamins, but I'm just saying, hey, take your vitamin. Um, and I haven't been taking my vitamins lately. And I have noticed that there has been a change in me as a person. Um, when I was taking my vitamins more regularly, I was also losing weight. So I wonder if me maintaining my weight or holding all of this pressure on me has something to do with um, my lack of vitamins and stuff like that but anyway um, I don't want to go around in a circle and I want to be more streamlined and give you guys information that could be useful um, even though I don't really know if I'm that person I know that I want to be a youtuber and I know that I want to grow on this channel and I think that that means that I have to change who I am What's a good way to get a lot of eyes? What's a good way to get a lot of attention? A weight loss journey. People like to see transformations. But I don't know. Ugh. The thing is, I want that change, but I don't want the work to do that change. And I think we all have been in that situation where you want something, but you don't really have all of the energy or the work or the desire to actually put into doing that one thing. Well, I want to change myself. And that's going to start with me. And um, I have a lot of work to do. And I'm trying not to put the pressure on me of having to do all of that work, but that's just the reality. I'm growing and I'm a evolving and I need to start saving money and I need to be firm and I need to care about myself a little bit more a lot a bit more it's just life life is life and life is hard and I know that people say that it's really depending on how you think and 
some of the things that people will tell me like if they're giving me advice on how to like better myself or if I'm really stressed out they'll give me advice like oh life is life and you got to do it which isn't really effective for me and I was talking to someone and I've met a group of people who are very positive at their core they believe okay the world is what I create in my mind um and it's really great give me a second there's a train going by I don't even know if you guys can hear the train but um I met people that were like wow what I have in my mind is the reality that I create and I tend to be that person uh, around me I tend to be, be that person of wow it's your mind and what you create with the people around me and in general I'm probably the more positive person in my group but the problem is when I'm around other people that are thinking positive like that, I'm the most negative person in that group. So I want to rub shoulders with people who hold my core ideas as their core ideas and become more of the core person that I want to be, the more of the core person that I can see myself uh, becoming while also remaining aware in ways that I think that some people may not be aware um, because I have been really really low and I've had my positivity to bring me this far there are some people that might just have that positivity ingrained in them and I think to a certain extent I have that positivity ingrained in me um, just just like in my nature in my nature i've always was like oh yeah i can speak to the universe okay so i've always had that mindset ingrained in me but kind of leaning into it and starting to actually uh put both of my hands on the steering wheels of my life i know that there's a lot of things that i cannot control but then i look back on what i have been doing and what i can control and i see that i'm just kind of going with the flow and letting my body do whatever it wants to do instead of like really focusing on what I can do and what I want to do and where I want to be not even what I want to do because what I want to do is just sit around and just be just exist you know I'm I think at my core there's a desire for growth and there's a desire to do nothing and these things are kind of battling out okay and they're forever going to be battled be a battle that I am living through um I am that type of person that doesn't like pain. I don't like that pressure. I don't like it. It's uncomfortable. I don't like the uncomfortable. But to grow, you have to go through the discomfort. And I know that. We all know that. This is a conversation that we've probably already had with ourselves millions and millions and millions of times before. But the reality is, even though we have that conversation with ourselves, are we really listening to ourselves? So I want to change. I want to do something better. I want to be better. I want this I want that 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 and the reality is I'm not putting into the in any of the work to actually get to this or that and there's this frustration that always kind of follows me um and that frustration is oh shit I just had this realization I've been going through emotional moments recently ah i like i've had emotional moments recently like i'm subjecting myself to the past and i have a video that will be going out i haven't even edited it yet as of now but i have a video where i'm like listening to a memo of me speaking and feeling that pain and i think opening up that conversation does take me back a little bit to that pain it does take me back and it sucks because I, it also feels like if you can't have the conversation how have you healed from it but I don't know I'm definitely I feel like I'm definitely not a teacher I'm just here just saying that I'm struggling with this I want you guys to know that I'm struggling with this but we're gonna make it maybe just a reminder to have some positivity in your life a reminder that it's okay to take things step by step and also a reminder that there will be days where you will go back and every time i go back i jump forward a little bit better i think if i'm aware that this might put me in a space maybe it's easier to come back to my baseline and my baseline is pretty good right now 
Um, as of now, just cleaning up my apartment, trying to get my life together on this end, trying to start back going to the gym. Uh, I One thing I can tell you guys about is I was very concerned about this mole right here on my arm. I don't know if you guys can see it. This mole on my arm, I feel like it's been getting bigger. So we're keeping an eye on that, seeing if it grows randomly um, anymore. It definitely got bigger from when it was originally. Originally, it was like half the size of it. But that's over a year, over like years it's been growing. So right now I'm just keeping an eye on it, making sure it doesn't just like uh, double in size from this point. And um, I have a doctor keeping an eye on that. I'm also looking into my fertility, um, things that I can control. I do wonder about my fertility. You guys know I was in a relationship with Stu Boo and we weren't really using protection and then the pregnancy and all of that and just trying to find my way back to balancing. If I go to a doctor and they say there's nothing wrong with your fertility at all, then there's a call to change. There's an even bigger call to change my body and change my way of living because if there was nothing wrong with my body, why couldn't I get pregnant? You know what I mean? Which, I've already lost some weight, so I don't know. Um, also, not getting pregnant made me very depressed. And that caused me to kind of, like, keep spiraling, keep spiraling, keep spiraling. So, um, I'm happy to be in a better place right now. I'm not constantly trying to have a baby. I have an apartment to myself. Um, I have people who are helpful in my life. And... Yeah, I'm talking to that uh, co-worker again. Like, honestly, we were going, like, the one that went to Japan, we, were, we weren't we were going back and forth. We were just do, looking at each other and going, hmm. And I told her, I thought it was kind of funny that we were just beefing. But she was like, you know, I'm sensitive. And it was like, okay, and I'm sensitive too. You can't think that you're the only person in the situation who can get frustrated. You can't think you're the only person in the situation that can get mad. I'll get mad. I'll get frustrated. I'll yell too. You're not special that you're the only person that can be feeling these feelings. If we need to walk away from each other, okay, walk away from each other. But if you're yelling at me, you can't just assume that I'm going to be the strong one that can walk away from you yelling at me or you speaking to me in a certain type of way, right? And I think to a certain extent, I'm not like too broken broken harder about the situation and stuff like that we've added each other back so it's just really interesting though that this is a dynamic I don't know what's happening with that dynamic like it kind of feels like I don't know what what's going on with that I just know that that's something right um the way it was funny because in that moment she came into the room and it's like I know she wants to talk to me it's just like, okay, so are we, like, over the beef? Like, are we still... We're, we're, lately, we haven't really been, like, hmm, not talking to you and stuff like that. And I could tell that she's wanted to talk to me more, more and more. Like, things are happening at work. We're all stressed out. Like, it's like, come together, you know? We're family again. Like, we're all stressed out together. So I could tell she wanted to talk to me more and more. And, like, she was, like... Like, randomly, she just handed me a piece of barbecue. Like, here you go. And I'm like, I ate it and I thought, okay, like she is such, she's like, like the Asian mother that brings fruit to you after you fought, you know what I mean? And then it's like, okay, this is me showing that I care. She brings snacks. Okay. This is like, I know I'm not easy. Here's a snack. Don't like, it's, it's like, okay. Okay. Like I, I, I understand you like you're difficult, but I understand you. You know what I mean? So I just thought that that dynamic was interesting. Just learning, learning, like there's a guy that I like, you guys. There's a guy that I like. Um, I'm helping him with his love life, so. <laughs> and it's not going that well. It's not going that well, but I was helping. I was being helpful. And I sent him a message yesterday and he didn't respond. So it's like one of those things. And I was just like, I need to stop worrying about love. I need to stop worrying about the future. And I just need to start focusing on right now. Get this done. Manage right now. And then in the future, uh, future Aaliyah will be so proud of present Aaliyah. You know what I mean? 
but yeah that's life and you know I'm gonna start back taking my vitamins and I need to start drinking water and taking care of myself because I love myself and if you didn't drink water today go drink water if you didn't take your vitamins go take a vitamin and if there's anything that you want me to talk about specifically on my channel leave it down below I will try to have a conversation with you much love and positive vibes and I hope to see you guys again next time also the girl is thinking about starting dreads Oh, look at that. Oh. It's like I'm like one of those rhinoceros beetles. I start stabbing you with my sharp and pointy. Why is it sticking out like that? Bling. Okay, well. Bye-bye.